What is love to you? And what are some of the greatest misconceptions about love? Well, love is a vibration. Love is a very high, very kind, very compassionate, very uh, all-encompassing energy. And sometimes people misconstrue love as like a game. Like, you know, you watch all these videos and it's like how to get the guy or how to (laughs) manipulate, (laughs) (laughs) get him to the altar. And it's like, what does that have to do with love? You know, and so love is an energy. It's a very high vibration that we as humans feel And it's what we strive for. We want to heal our hearts. We want to reach for the highest vibration of compassion and kindness for ourselves first Mm -hmm. and then be able to enjoy that with another. I love that message in your book. Yeah, self-love, self-compassion. That's the start point. It's not really trying to find that out there. Talk to me for a moment about some more about divine union self-love, love love vibration, and also what you call love attraction. Absolutely. I just love it when two people come full, (laughs) when they come complete, whole, full, willing to love, loving themselves, because everything that they create together is magical and does enhance the world for other people. Even if they don't have that intention, their vibration together causes it. It's a Mm -hmm. ripple. It's so beautiful and so powerful. And we are in a time right now where more divine unions are coming together. More people are hooking up with their soulmate and they're finding this real divine connection with them. It's a higher level energy, which sometimes I refer to as like the highest potential soulmate. It's so beautiful. And so a lot of times we're coming out of old paradigms, you know, the old paradigms where somebody would be the damsel and someone would save them regardless of the gender, if it was male, female, or both, you know, that one would be weak and one would be strong. And they'd say, oh, well, you complete me. And they look for missing traits in each other uh, to try to make a whole. But, you know, I, I've been around a lot of love and a lot of relationships and a lot of abusive relationships and a lot of death. Right. And what I've seen is that even if you think somebody makes you whole because they have the other half of the things you're missing, when they die, you still have to develop that. You know, it's sure. only temporary. And so we never want to put that on our partner. We want to show up whole and healed. And we want to show up beautiful and strong in our own energy to come together and both be dynamic sparks of light together and have something to really share and grow together. You wrote the book, The Love Book, The Secret to Finding Your Soulmate. Well, I actually, this is my fourth book. My first book was about um, the spirit world, helping people cross over ghosts and how to get spiritually clear and all that stuff. And um, then I wrote a couple more. So I've always had I guess an interest in writing and making information available. I channel a lot. I get I use my spiritual gifts and I think from working so many years with so many clients and students, I've seen so many things that I think are meaningful and I think that that information should be out there so people that are seeking it can find it. 